Hi everyone, this is Pastor Tim with this week's video update. This Sunday, following our 11 o'clock worship gathering, there's going to be an annual meeting. We want to encourage uh, members of the church as well as committed regular attenders to join with us in this annual meeting. Members will be voting on a proposed budget for 2021. There'll be some financial review as well. Um, there are also going to be a number of ministry highlights. You'll hear what uh, has happened during the past year, and you're also going to have a chance to hear some of the things that we look forward to, some of the movement that the Lord is bringing to our shared mission together here at Grace. And so we really hope that you can be with us. It will not only be a matter of conducting business, but it will be celebration for us as we're reminded of how faithful God has been in a curious, challenging year. He has continued to be at work changing lives. And we want to celebrate that this Sunday. In our worship times at 9 o'clock and 11 this Sunday, there's also going to be... Uh, uh, virtual worship online through live stream. There's going to be Grace Kids in person here at 11, but we're going to culminate our worship this Sunday at the communion table, and we're going to remember the sacrifice of Jesus, how his body was given and his blood was shed on our behalf. We never want to lose sight of that. It's a centerpiece of the gospel, the good news that we celebrate here at Grace Church. And this Sunday, I look forward to sharing the bread and the cup again with uh, others of you who are able to gather this Sunday here at Grace. Um, in the message time this week, we're going to have a chance to uh, come to a passage in Mark chapter 9 in our continuing series in Mark that we've called Jesus Up Close. Um, Jesus, for a second time, tells his disciples that it was going to be necessary for him to suffer and die and on the third day be raised from the dead. We think it's significant that in advance of his crucifixion and resurrection, Jesus was preparing his disciples for this eventuality that was all according to plan. Come this Sunday and uh, join us as we think a bit more about that and as we think about that servant posture of Jesus that he wants to be shaped in us. The message is titled this Sunday, Glorious Descent. Hope that you can be with us for that time. On December 13th and 20th, the second and third Sundays of December and on Christmas Eve, we're going to have a three-part series. We're going to step out of our Jesus Up Close series in Mark, actually until the beginning of February. And for those three services, the 13th, the 20th, and Christmas Eve, we're going to have a special Christmas series, A Thrill of Hope, The Weary World Rejoices. We hope that you can be with us for that time as we um, celebrate Christmas. There's going to be good music, the... Uh, the auditorium is going to be beautifully decorated for that time, and we want to worship Jesus um, with everything in us. We want to worship him for all that he is uh, on our behalf, for all that he is for us in his incarnation, and then later, his crucifixion and resurrection. On Christmas Eve, we're going to have two services, one at 5 o'clock and one at 7 o'clock. We hope that you can be with us for one of those services on Christmas Eve as we worship together. Well, this past Sunday, we closed the service with uh, a statement, Run, Jesus, Run. It was uh, a statement that flowed out of a story that I told at the end of the message this past Sunday. And our longing and desires that many of us could unite around that longing to see Jesus run, run Jesus run through Grace Church, through our families, through Delta County to the end that many's, many eyes would be opened to Jesus and to his worth and that there would be conviction of sin and a recognition of separation from God apart from Christ and that Jesus would be changing lives. Run, Jesus, run um, in our county, in our nation, in our world. 
And uh, we hope that we can continue to unite around that desire together here at Grace Church. Run, Jesus, run. Well, blessings on you, Grace Church. Look forward to seeing you sooner rather than later. Um, have a great rest of the week. Hope to see you this weekend.